Basketball. Misha, thank you for joining us. And I was wondering, we just talked a little bit and you told me that you don't feel at your best, <laughs> at your very best tennis-wise right now. Um, but I know that your best ranking was 25. And I was wondering, what do you think was the difference to when you were 25, when you reached the quarters at the Australian Open and to now? What do you think is the difference? Oh, it's hard to say. It's many things. Um, physically, I think I was quicker, I was stronger, not necessarily lighter, but... Um, And I think I just played tennis because I had nothing else in my life, mm -hmm. really. It, it sounds maybe a little weird or awful, but no, I, I just wanted to play tennis. I wanted to focus on, on the sport and I did everything. I woke up in the morning and just practiced and then trained. And now I have so many more other beautiful things. I have my wife, I have my son, you know, Sasha's doing well, like family. And I, I just enjoy life in general so much more. And I do enjoy tennis, but, you know, if I wake up in the morning and the weather is nice, I just want to go play with my son by the beach and I think that is really the biggest difference out there because in the end those five percent can make a huge difference as you know yeah well because tennis has gotten so close and it's becoming more modern more dynamic but um but you did have amazing success however I was just telling you this anecdote and I was wondering if you remembered it when I played Hopman Cup with your brother Sasha uh, you were there as well yeah. for your own off season and you guys were practicing together and I went off to take a shower I came back and you were feeding Sasha <laughs> balls and I remember I was there with my dad and my dad loved it because he was like this is how brothers are supposed to be and I told my dad yeah but Misha is also <laughs> still a tennis player he should practice for himself and we argued there a little bit and uh, I was wondering if that's maybe also this part of your personality where you're a very giving person and you want maybe you want your brother to do better than you want yourself to do is that maybe also part of the whole thing yes even when I was little when I played juniors or I came on tour I was top 100 everyone's like oh Misha great success you're so talented I'm like no 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 wait for my brother wait till he grows up he's gonna be great they're like how do you know that I'm like I know because I feel it, I know it, I trained with him, he's going to be great. And I feel like that was always kind of like my mission. It was like my task, the older brother like has to take care of the family mm -hmm. and, and I loved it. And we have such a huge age difference, 10 years. So we, we were rivals, but not really, you know, mm -hmm. in the end, I always wanted him to do well. And I just, I was happy when, when he was happy and the whole family was doing well. So in the end, yeah, I want to say I just... I'm the happiest when everyone else is taken care of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's great for life. That's great for a personality. It's not that great yeah, for well. tennis, I will tell you that. But, um, but you know, I, I was wondering also the... I wanted to talk about yourself, but then your brother always comes up because I can see, but it's not only your brother. I know also you talk a lot about your family and your yeah. parents who sacrificed so much for you guys. And you're just, I think you live and breathe through your family. Does it ever annoy you that people ask you about Sasha constantly or not at all? Never, because it's, it's family. You know, it's, yeah. I'm not talking about some random person that I don't really like, you know, in particular. But no, it's, it's my family. And I feel like I'm also proud because in the end, it's him winning the matches on the court but mm. I feel like we are all winning and losing together because we spend so many hours days and, and months you know just being on this path you know mm. traveling all together I, I remember the first time I came to Australia I think I was 15 or 16 years old and I was there for two months and because the last four weeks we stayed there and it was my mom my brother and I were traveling around small cities mm -hmm. with six huge bags and body boards and soccer balls and volleyball balls and I was practicing in the morning and I was practicing myself I was practicing with Sasha and basically since day one it was always like a family trip and then later in the evening because ta taxis were expensive I would put them on my shoulders and then walk home like <laughs> like two or three kilometers and then stop by get some ice cream and walk home and then Sasha would be like come on go faster I'm like come on Sasha I'm tired yeah so it was always like a family affair it's just mm. I, I love it okay and uh, just one more thing now you're in broadcasting you're doing more and more interviews you're behind and in front of the camera and the way I know you we're both the same generation 87 you never smiled <laughs> and you never talked what's changed <laughs> Well, I do smile when I'm with nice people, okay. with friendly people, with people that make me happy and then laugh. And I don't know, I guess I was just very focused on my uh, serving volley game back in the day. I don't know. It's, it's, I guess I open up a little bit. I've seen so many different places. I open up to the world and it's a beautiful place. Look, and especially, you know, after the last 18 months, you start to appreciate everything you get to do, you get to yeah. see and all the people you get to be around with. 
end, I can't not end this interview with your greatest success, maybe. You beat Andy Murray. He was the world number one at the Australian Open in yeah. a fantastic match. Andy was playing well. You were playing even better. And because I know how introverted you are sometimes, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, how did you celebrate? I think I was about to cry, so I just waved a little bit, smiled, and walked off the court. <laughs> <laughs> But um, since you're the opposite, you've beaten the world number one quite a few times, right? I did, yeah. How did you celebrate? Well, I celebrated with my famous little pe Petco, Jake. So I was yeah. wondering if you ever beat another world number one, yeah. maybe Sasha one day. Yeah. Would you do that? I will do this one and then finish off with a... Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for joining Thank us, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Hamburg European Open.